let's talk about monetization. Uh, it's a quite interesting topic. Sarah, so what are some of the newer ways you see alternative data being monetized? And then the same question for, uh, for Joe. Yeah, so I think it's no surprise to this crowd that the new areas where alt data is being used are all in generative AI and training LLMs. Um, you know, seven years ago when I first started selling into this industry, it wasn't so advanced as it is now. Um, but people are looking for very clean, structured data sets um, that not just um, sort of show signal in investment or sentiment or um, you know, how a particular brand's products are being adopted, um, but also just descriptive language and ch chatter on chat boards uh, because they're trying to train their own um, internal LLMs. Um, so what we're seeing is uh, kind of an explosion in demand across the board for full catalogs, um, all kinds of data, um, but again, with a mind to regulation and risk, data that is well documented, very transparent how it was collected, audit logs, you know, what came from where, when, right? Because there may be some alteration to copyright laws down the road um, and all that good stuff. But yeah, for us, it's mostly um, AI. Okay. It's driving new, new use cases. Thank Joe, if you can briefly uh, yeah. discuss it. Thank you, I, Sarah, Sarah. I share a lot of you know your your uh, you know thoughts on where this is going and the value of data. You can think of data as kind of the nutrients or fuel that uh, is going to enable a, a whole new era of digital solutions, and it really is kind of breathtaking. Um, I remember in the 90s working with a company that uh, that was going to do natural language database. Uh, queries where you could talk to the data. What were sales yesterday? Which of my regions have the greatest growth this year? And just really have a conversation and get answers. And what was ironic was the genius behind the technology couldn't have a conversation with a normal person. He had, he had to have an interpreter. But that day is here now where those companies exist and you can have conversations about uh, sales, customer service incidents, uh, complaints, all kinds of information is now going to be uh, available. And there's so much focus on the enabling technology. I spend most of my time on the data that that enabling technology uses. And um, this is where it's very exciting. Uh, if you think about large language models and how they're gonna change things, I've been involved in what we're calling knowledge management for Gen AI where once you get past your initial use cases, let's say the most typical one is coding, programming, and, and reducing programming time, it really is a huge productivity enhancer for developers, uh, quality checking code, uh, a variety of things like that. And you start to say, how can I go deeper within a company or a sector? That's where you start to get into specialized knowledge. And I think those specialized knowledge data sets are going to uh, be what differentiates or distinguishes firms that uh, really grow competitively because they'll have information that used to be the purview of, of you know, highly trained and experienced individuals. Those individuals can now create agents based upon what they know uh, there's the old joke about the person who was asked to fix a, tr a train engine that didn't work, and he walks around the train engine, and then he opens up his toolbox, takes a wrench, and gives it a whack, and then the train engine starts, the locomotive starts, and the, and the town says, how much do we owe you? He says, $1,000. They say, well, can you give me that itemized bill? And he says, sure, hitting the train, $10, knowing where to hit it, 990 And the idea being that knowledge is a valuable asset, so for people with specialized skills, the ability to put them into a digital format and then make them almost componentized and extendable, um, that's a really exciting future. And these data sets are gonna be developed by specialists uh, with the knowledge, with the ability to determine what the market needs, 
And then there's going to be a whole economy uh, built up around really, really trading knowledge and skills in a digital format in a way that we've never done before. Thank you.